the Rogers family started with Shakira and Rob Rogers. Right now, you can see Shakira is pregnant with twin boys. And if you already know, you already know it's the twins, Mello and Zaven. But you know, they were living in a small apartment, very cramped. They were ready to move out of the shoebox and move into a beautiful home and raise their twin boys in. They had a lot of dreams. Shakira being a food critic, Rob being an astronaut. I mean, they are ready to start this beautiful life together for real. And they did not have their family support, but at the end of the day, they had each other's support. And that meant a lot to them. Although they had a lot of concern, they welcomed their twins, Zaven and Mello, and they wanted to give them the best life they could. They instilled family values to their sons and wanted to show to them that they should keep a close relationship no matter what with your parents, with your siblings, your relatives, and yes, eventually down the line, their families started to get in contact with the kids. As a child, Mello always knew what he wanted to do when he grows up. He knew he wanted to be a master actor and that he was in drama class and it really helped him with escapism. He's very shy and socially awkward as a young child when relatives would stop by with Steve and was be like the one to talk to them more than Mello. So drama kind of helped him with working through those emotions while Zaven, he didn't really know exactly what he wanted to be because he's like his father they're good at maxing out skills like it's nobody's business while Melo and Shakira are more clear in their path with what career they want to do if you get what I mean so yeah this is them watching college cram wink wink y'all now let's go to the current timeline high school years finale starts now Hey, I'm Sasha. Welcome to my channel. So this is a new episode of Double the Trouble High School Years Let's Play. I am so ready for this finale. We got a couple of things to do. First, we're going to walk Mello to school, you know, aka the, the rabbit hole. So he just got the thing to go to school. He did his homework. He was studying and he's doing pretty well for somebody going first day. Okay, adorable. He's so cute. Oh, here's a selfie the brothers took. I still didn't put it around the house. Crystal got a text from her father congratulating her, and I'm gonna show y'all the image right here if I still have it on my computer. And interesting enough, an update, and it's not even been that long, but she wanna marry Mello, and Mello wants to marry Crystal. Uh, I thought that was so cute. Is they even just want to chill. He want to mentor someone at a gym and he want to talk about fitness techniques. Like I said, he got the bodybuilder aspiration, even though he's in politics right now. Zaven's on his way to go to McDonald's with his friends. It's their first time hanging out as young adults. So, so. He's like, hey, y'all, I can't believe you graduated. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, American we're just Quinto. out here in the middle it's of the day. We should be in blue school. <laughs> he's like, yeah, right? Four it's crazy. High. They're just all talking about that. That's so cute. You know, I remember that too, that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have him chat about uh, politics. Like, I know it's a little tricky subject, but come on. Like, po he's going into politics for school. So he's probably just going to be like, y'all going to school. What's the tea? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? He's checking on her like, hey. And she's like, hey. And Zayn's like, what, what, what? This conversation is a little too friendly. Like, it's even like... Does he know now? Oh, oh, hearts over her head. Oh, not the side eye. <laughs> Y'all awfully a little friendly. She's like, yeah, aren't they? She's like trying to hit. I think she already knows. <laughs> Let's control Naomi just to like straight up just tell him like I don't, I don't mean to like be messy, but like you were there for me and i'm just gonna tell you straight up i think she's flirting with him do you not notice this is flirting oh not him walking away he's like she's a bitter ex even though she wasn't my ex <laughs> of course she's gonna try to get a one on him okay uh i need to say it oh he's pissed He's like, she's like, wh why is he so mad? He's like, no, Sammy is not Friendly. talking to him like that. She's just being friendly. Uh -huh. She's like, oh, uh, maybe I misread that. Sammy's definitely like, yeah, I was, fr I was friendly. Mind your business, Naomi. And Naomi's like, oh, she's giving Naomi the look. Just call her out. Like, just, <laughs> she's like, oh, you're, yeah, you know what I'm doing, Naomi, right? I'm flirting. Oh, oh, oh yeah, right. She's like, you know you were. Just straight up be honest for once. Like, this poor guy really likes you. Oh, Aiden wants Naomi to be his best friend. <laughs> Now 
Naomi said, okay, sorry, Aiden said to Naomi, can you please shut up? Let's be besties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's gonna say no way. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there's a sentiment she gained with him. And what is the sentiment? Oh, they got childhood buds, and it's awkward between them. Naomi's creeped out by him. It says Naomi didn't think that Aiden was at the level of best friends yet. Maybe some space will help. I mean, yeah, like you need space between y'all, and he's all up around you, flirting with another girl in front of you, and then also like them acting like, no, it wasn't like that. You're getting gaslit, sis, right? So dejected about rejection. Aiden doesn't necessarily blame Naomi for turning him down, but sometimes he feels bad to be around her. Mm, anyway, or maybe just like his ego got hurt for doing that he adores her like he's just like look be honest with me i'm a grown man do you have something with him you know she's like hmm? finally i planted my seeds and it's flourishing okay she's like well, uh, um, when you say that i don't have anything i promise you but like we did kiss on the roller coaster ride in windenburg when you and me did that like an hour or two ago so he's just gonna uh, he's gonna just yell at her and just say i can't believe you like what i cannot believe you you and now you're telling me that you kissed another man at windenburg and when you just kissed me like what is up with you i get that we said we're not like in a relationship but at the same time like there's some sort of decorum between us right like i thought that you wanted something deep like what's so deep with aiden i cannot believe you yeah he's not feeling it he's looking at y'all he's like look what do I do? Oh, every sim sitting down behaving. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, let me take a photo. So Naomi's just gonna be like, listen, you're good. You're way better than her. And she's just gonna like straight up just flirt with him in front of her. Just at this point, she is kind of feeling petty. But at the same time, she does want to just like make him feel better about himself. I don't know if he's gonna accept that or not, but I'm curious. Oh she got mad she's like how dare you naomi in front of me and zayvon's like look look we friends but we're not like doing any of that none of that messiness here okay and she's like how dare he i don't even care if he he like he shouldn't have done that i'm like girl you so dang toxic sammy <gasps> she's yelling at them <laughs> he's like excuse you like i'm not doing nothing and i don't even care what you think He's just going to apologize to Naomi, but he's just going to be like, look, like, at the end of the day, I appreciate your emotions and where you're going. She's like, yeah, like, I wasn't trying to be mean. And, you know, he's just kind of thinking, like, look, her brother and I fought. So the fact that she just still talks to me is kind of weird. Like, I think that she'd have more loyalty to her brother. But I guess, like, you know, that's what he's thinking. He's thinking, like, look, I love Mellow Down. Like, if anybody does Mellow Bogus, like, y'all saw what happened last episode, what he's willing to do for Mellow. And so he's just kind of, like, not really trusting Naomi me and it's it's like he's paranoid sim he's thinking maybe like is she setting me up is she you know what i'm saying and she's just being somewhat like she is being genuine is she looking out for herself yeah but is she really thinking about why it her brother at the moment no no to be honest she's not she's plotted to get him to date araya but other than that but he doesn't trust her and he has a right to though so because she did admit to the plot asks savannah uh, see how to eat her food oh my god now she's really going and she's like and your fashion whack and i bet you don't got coins like that she's like excuse me do you see this this is gucci what i'm wearing how dare you she's like really gucci maybe it's like i don't know dookie like trash like she's like excuse you your mom your mom can't afford this i seen where you live you and your sister no shade she's like oh you're coming for my sister penny so yeah she's gonna diss her family so let's do that they're autonomously fighting i didn't do any of that but i'm gonna try to accuse of her to starting drama like <laughs> she's gaslighting them back <laughs> You're starting drama. You're a friend of all our friends. Which this is the first hangout as adult, young adults. Like, yeah, and she's gonna d insult her family. Like, your family can't afford what's my whole outfit. He's like, excuse you, don't start fights at this table, please. Okay, you're not that innocent, you know. Uh -huh. They're both going in on her. No, no, no. I don't allow this. I don't allow this. And excuse y'all. Enough. Savannah, can you tell them to stop? Savannah's like, enough, enough. 
two seconds later. Above all the people you messed with, you messed with a guy that would like to me, and you kissed him while I was kind of still having something with him. Above everything, I am looking out for not only Zayvon but myself. People like you and Aiden are trash. Like I cannot believe you treat me like that. How dare you? So like, what? We're not even friends like that. Why do I have to have any loyalty to you? Oh my God, Ashton, are you okay? <laughs> she's just gonna she's gonna take her fight out on the person that really annoyed her stop <laughs> eavesdropping on my conversation stop trying to act like you want to be my friend stop all of that i'm done with you aiden and you're not allowed to meddle in my life anymore he's like what about you you're meddling in my life and she's like you know what one second we gonna call her brother i can't call i'm gonna summon him mc cheats summon i need to scrap in front of everybody i know it's the first day of young adulthood it's wild out here you trying to fight with my sister you trying to go argue with girls in public my sister told me about you you whack at the end of the day i cannot believe you oh yeah f you oh my god uh, period my brother's there for me okay y'all <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Yank him. Yank. Oh. Don't why it's street cred gone. <laughs> I'm trying to run away. <laughs> that is so humiliating. Why? I'm sorry you got knocked out again. Again. It's 2 0 for you. Mm, you can't be a boxer. Not even saying, did I do that? Listen, I'm Aiden with the hands. Don't mess with me, okay? <gasps> Naomi, keep sending these guys after me. I'm just going to knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's nighttime. <laughs> I need to go home. I'm done. Zeven's back home. Let's go. <laughs> into the house and stuff again he's staying with his brother y'all already know so i think zaven's a bit tired but not that tired yet bro i'm so proud of you Gosh. you're that guy now I'm like look a marriage like what, are you really going worried. there and he's like yeah Robbers? not yet but thank you so much i love Seven you eight. bro oh my heart <laughs> zaven's like i'm gonna cook dinner for y'all i have a better cooking Boy. skill he's like what really you do that for me i mean bro like i'm staying here till like Eventually. sunday monday like oh, come on it's wednesday <laughs> i got you dinner on me so he's gonna be cooking food Duh. oh you don't like cooking oh that's so funny but he's doing it for his brother because he loves him oh it's so adorable baby's behaving rock y'all know rock i'm not aging rock up until the infants are here <laughs> i don't know if i could handle it y'all if, if rock, rock has been peaceful but when i say that about a baby it's just they start crying all right do you want to go do that live stream let's do it pick up a serving for your brother and then let's put it next to him so that he can eat it when you know like midstream let's just act like y'all know they ain't gonna eat during stream but if they can let's do it let's see awesome. <laughs> i've seen sometimes them use the computer and eat the same time but i don't know if he's gonna be able to do that oh he is y'all do that like lock it in the middle and they're gonna eat while awesome. i guess using stuff <laughs> all right proud of you honey welcome back home uh zaven made a uh, fettuccine alfredo go grab a serving i know you're tired and you just want to sleep but let's let's just chat let's go ahead you need to go ahead and message mama bear and uh you know dad's been so sweet to you you know he's been he was awkward and scared at the uh, family event but he shouldn't be ashamed there's nothing wrong with having a baby the same time around your parents like things happen in life there's more things to be concerned about you know and your parents are trying to work on the relationship there they've been doing the best they can and honestly i think that she has so much respect for her parents in that regard seeing how hard they're working but it shouldn't reflect on their daughter either you know oh rock Man. he's like oh my god my nephew's so adorable i cannot with this so one of the silver twins is calling him he's like hello hey like this is really early in the morning it's 6 a.m like uh my fiance's asleep and um the person's like what i heard you were engaged but really yes he's talking to Alyssa stover if y'all remember she kind of like had this like thing with him and remember she cut it off he cut it off with her completely during the pregnancy like they used to send flirty dms and you know she's like uh, like she's shocked remember she she hooked up with aiden too okay 
<laughs> all right so she hooked up with aiden like as like i don't know whatever to cope you know and aiden's her neighbor so like that was weird but then she moved to copperdale if y'all don't know she, um she her, her dad married miss prescott the principal so then molly prescott is her stepsister and then you, you know her brother ashton with the brown hair and so now she's like well i just wanted to tell you we're neighbors and he's like what neighbors the home right here is occupied by the prescott stover family so yeah he's like what is going on y- y'all what oh, oh, he's so- like what the hell oh my god i do not want Alyssa here like she's like my crush from like ever like i always thought she was so cool like her and uh zaven would go you know scouts and stuff like that and oh my god like oh like what the hell i'm so nervous why is she here why there's so many places to go and you know she's like oh it's not that expensive here you know like the same reason why you're here and no wonder crystal feels like mellow might cheat hmm let's start the day i guess <sighs> Melo, Zaven's up, so let's go ahead and have him sit here and, oh, actually, let's work on a homework. Let's go work on some homework and then um, maybe just write some draft, a little draft of, like, his assignment for the term. Zaven's feeling flirty this morning, so I had him send a good morning text to one of the ladies. I mean, he's got to move on. Sorry, Sam. Ooh, I forgot to update y'all that last night, Best Sterling messaged Amelo and she was like, hey, do you want to give me money? And he blew her off and he talked to Zaven and Zaven was like, nah, nah, you need to tell her today. We're going to come over and we're, um, we want to invest and stuff like that because like, it's going to look suspicious that you want to cut communications with someone that you were kind of working business. Like business goes up and down and she got robbed and you were there. She like knew you were there and you, you know, quote unquote was helping saying thief get out, la da 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 type thing, you know? And then you were, you know, trying to act smart. But what if she's trying to outsmart you? Like, oh, Mello doesn't want to pay me money? Hmm, I wonder why. I thought we were good. La da da la. Like, and maybe she might think that you set her up. So you need to do right and even though you don't want to give her uh, a dollar or simoleon whatever it doesn't matter you have to give her something so i am just trying to act like oh like sorry for what happened slash i guess i do want to invest you're at a low moment like why would i you know put you through something more quote unquote you know so zaven you know he's a politician like working towards that as his dream thing and he knows how perception works and so he definitely knows that it's gonna look bad that mellow doesn't support support her during this time like probably other sims in the community of evergreen harbor so love that you know zaven does play around he's really good at that he's very smart and yeah so we're planning that as the rogers family that's what he would say to his brother and he's like look my cooking skills on 100 all you just gotta do is show up and Melo's like doing schoolwork, and like zaven's just so loyal to his family and i love him so much really he's such a sweetheart y'all sammy sloan is in this apartment i couldn't even stop her from doing it i thought she was gonna ask to be best friends it goes sammy sloan wants to take things to the next level will zaven be her boyfriend <laughs> oh so like i'm <laughs> Sammy, after what? After you embarrassed him like that? And you could have just been honest and told him like a long time ago? No. I feel so bad to say no. Like, S- Sammy is cool, don't get me wrong, but like, I think he's just gonna say, I prefer our friendship. And she's hurt. Uh huh. Well, girl, I'm sorry about that. Oh, she's still here. Is she gonna yell at him? Oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, I feel so bad, but. You know, he's just going to admit that you're going too fast. So he's just going to say it straight up. He was dancing, having fun. He felt unchallenged. He was thinking about a hard, um, like, question to answer, like, an impossible scenario, which helped him, you know, go through it. He told her, you're going too fast. And I'm not, I'm sorry, but, like, I can't be with you, you know? She's like, oh, like, I've heard that it was because of Diana. Is that, is there any truth? Like, I don't mind me and you dating when you were talking to her. So he's just gonna say no no it's not about her what if we're actually together and then you did something like that she's like but we weren't oh i feel bad why she's so adorable i think i'm gonna try to give her a friendly hug like you know like a goodbye hug 
first let's go check on her like look you know i'm i'm not trying to i'm not trying to make you feel like bad about yourself i'm happy that you're able to talk to me i really have a lot of appreciation towards you uh we have great memories from high school let's just remain friends we are better off as friends at the moment if there's something more in the future of course like let's go for it but you know you're a good person don't think you're some horrible person you were just a victim of just mess you know she's like oh so you think that it was naomi who caused all that he's like no naomi's a victim of the mess everybody is a victim of the mess she's like no so there has to be somebody who was wrong in this who was wrong there has to be somebody wrong come on you could say it i mean you yelled at me you thought i was wrong <gasps> Save him. go ahead and leave girl he literally she was like just tell me the truth if i'm a bad guy and he was like da 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 what you think oh not molly Oh, Alyssa Stover out here? Not them already, like, having their own thing. If I didn't say, but their parents kicked them out of the house. They were like, look, <gasps> why would you go in the bathroom while he was in there? That's weird. That's your bro. We're going to go to the Rico home, say goodbye to baby. Let's just act like, you know, the baby's being sent to that free daycare. I mean, you know, Evergreen Harbor, everything is very cheap okay okay there's um two sims that are woohooing in the house i wanted to introduce y'all to but anyway this is Beth sterling she has a bit of a makeover and then here is Bess's niece her um this is her niece her name is monica walter and then there is here her her ne other niece stevie walter these are two sims and then their parents are upstairs woohooing go knock on that door so y'all could see the house because maybe that would answer questions okay there there y'all go see you're like what the hell wasn't this house robbed clean right let's look let's look y'all let's look what this house is not robbed anymore i yes yes so now let me explain long story short she's like probably like oh thank god my sis was able to like cover us but the thing was her sister was going through something so y'all know that alien scenario in the sims 4 yeah so i played with this family these two sisters gained like a very strong bond as a result through this alien scenario and uh, you know now their parents are back and the sister has not been no, the same but her sister's partner is kind of like more adjusted back to society and so she just kind of like look like sis can you know i know i could cover you i got a lot of money anyway um is it okay if i stay over full time so she's staying over and she brought a living room whole set to fix up her sister's home as quick as possible so Mello and zaven are like wait this house don't look like the house that we know Khaled done robbed you know and crystal's like are you sure these people are robbed like you you know they're just whispering to each other like oh my god oh my god let's go and add that pizza for them and that peach cobbler and then let's go set up the drinks i mean now they're grown they could actually drink oh my god so this is the girl's parents see like the mom you could tell like she went through a lot like she just you know lived you know what i'm saying so then here is her husband and they're the walters and now they live here so jules um and Bess's home got changed up so there, there's this floor where the kids stay out here and then they stay in this room so yeah and then upstairs is still the same like that maker type stuff I don't know anyway so yeah <laughs> I just changed up a little bit of the downstairs to help them make it look like they never left you know Bess has too much pride to be looking any kind of ways all right now it's time everybody's just sitting in dinner well you know lunch together yeah, so everybody's gonna grab a serving together <laughs> we're all trying to you know converse try to you know say thank you for this meal best wow like it feels like a housewarming event yeah my sims are misbehaving but oh well we gonna roll we move you know if they want to stand if they want to sit you know so i think she's chatting up with her like hey girl how are you she's like i'm good i'm good she's like okay monica's like uh you're awkward she's like oh no no i'm not i'm sorry it's an interesting like oh my god i'm in bess's home like i've only ever heard about her investments i heard she's really great she's smart at what she does she's like yeah my aunt is brilliant she's like a business whiz he's like oh my god like she, he's thinking oh my god crystal know how to work the people she is doing her thing so he's just gonna drink he's sitting with miss best miss best is like you know i've seen your brother's absolutely uh, you know yes saved my life like thank you so much god knows how much of the house would have been you know taken from me I do not want that to, you know, to happen to me. So everybody's just like eating, chilling. They're all sitting in different areas. Cute. So yeah, they're all just chilling here. And Melo's thinking, wow, like 
I don't feel guilty that <laughs> that was stolen from her. I was feeling guilty, you know, and she's covered herself like so well. Like it's been a few days ago. Like she's acting like, you know, nothing ever happened, you know. So he's going to go ahead and try to like, I guess, get Bess off his back. Because like I feel like in a sense, if he doesn't give her some money to cough up, she's not going to like she's going to be suspicious. So she's like, yeah, uh, I have a better business opportunity for you. It's like, oh, absolutely. He's being smart, you know. And he's like, I'm going to give her a thousand simoleons. Jules is dancing. He's vibing. So Melo's like, okay, let's go ahead. Let's just dance on the table. And Crystal's going to be like, oh, my God, are we doing this? Like, well, I didn't think that was a thing. So they're going to be dancing on the tables, trying to have fun with him, living life. Maybe, okay, let's just take this message as... Alyssa is saying, hey, I heard you're invested with Bess. And he's like, oh, yeah, I've been doing it. You you should, too. And, like, I know he's like, oh, my gosh, she's a scammer. But, like, he can't tell people. If he does, then it's over, you know? Oh, they're all guessing Jules. Like, go, Jules. Go, Jules. And Jules like, hey, like, I want to go to a club tonight. Y'all want to come with me? Like, it's a holiday. They're like, yeah, well, we need to enjoy the TV show premiere day. But other than that, you know, we're down. She's going to ask for investment results. Like, you are so great. You always do so well. How's the market? She's like, the market's doing great. You're doing great. You guys are doing amazing. Things are going to come back to y'all very soon. Their needs are somewhat red, so they need to take care of themselves. But I'm happy that the family was able to enjoy this uh, time with my little boys. They're being young adults. They're being grown, to, invited to grown events. They're going to go to a club tonight. I mean, literally, he wants to invite Diana Dale. So he's going to say, Diana, girl, take your jet, whatever you have to do to come back here. Well, we're back home and Crystal's like, she like shift is starting now i gotta leave crystal's at work like i said and right now the boys are watching the llama premiere i can like yo like they did not recognize nothing we we ran a game on them like we got we scammed back i guess we're the better scammers like of course we are Nobody don't people know what we did of course I don't want to pass any judgments, but I heard that you were caught cheating on your partner. You should try to keep your private affairs more private. That Sammy is spreading lies, okay? I did not when cheat you. on her, okay? Hey, hey, you. Ready for the club tonight? Last time he tried to make a move, she was not here for it. Oh, there's development. Wow. He's like, hey, Diana. I didn't think that I'd have somebody that genuinely cared, you know? She's like, yeah, I care. I, I'm, I'm happy that you know. I think I should have been more honest with my emotions. I was trying to be cool. And that should never be a thing with two people who have as much feelings as we do for each other. He's like, you have feelings? Good. She's like, I do. But I feel like he, you maybe you're not as there as I am, you know? And he's like, well, you know, you were playing around too, talking to Wyatt. And she's like, well, I said Wyatt flirted with me and you stopped him, you know? She's like, I don't have to talk about Wyatt. Okay, please. Uh, I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> that was just like a little like me being messy and petty. And I was afraid of you. It's like these girls from Copperdale are something else. Like, all right, we're here at the club. And this is the club. Oh my God. Alyssa Stover is at the club too. Uh, Melo's trying to make conversation with Diana. He's like, hey, Diana, how are you doing? You cool. Wait, did he grow in a little beard? Not the young adult thing coming through for him. I, girl, I want you to chat with Jules Rico. Make your introduction and stuff, girl. Like somebody who's in the fashion game. Uh, but like I don't know, Evergreen Harbor style. Maybe, maybe he's trying to go up. Maybe he's trying to go to Del Sol. Maybe he's trying to go to, uh, you know, San My Shuno. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Talk to him. Make that connection, Crystal. It's all about who you know. You know? Oh, she's starstruck by him. I love that. And he, she finds him strong and minded. Oh, he finds her to be the star. Like, she's absolutely talented. He's like, I just love the effortless look that you're going for. She's like, you're going for the effortless look. <laughs> so she's like, nice to meet you. She's just chatting. She's trying to ask him about his career. Like, what's the tea with you? Happy that it's going easy for her. Oh, she got a promotion from work, too. She's level two, y'all. Of course, like, did, didn't Mello say that she's so perfect? And she's getting a promotion instantly. 
he doesn't like the music but you know he's trying to make the most of it by just enjoying it with crystal that's all that matters to him Aww. did diana dale dip on him because i mean i'd understand okay show them how to do the moves zaven <laughs> Okay, Crystal. Yes, Crystal, your first night out. Oh, she's a star, all right. People are going to know about Miss Crystal Stevens, okay? Zay was like, okay, she got the moves for real, though. Let's go home, y'all. All right, Diana, take your little jet or where you, wherever you have to go to stand my shoot on. We got to go home. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. That's what they're saying. Okay, y'all, a mini update. Auntie Sarita messaged Crystal. She said, hey, I heard you became friends with Zayvan. I'm taking this as, I know that you and him kind of had something little that sent that deep, but I'm happy that it's in a positive place. I'm assuming Zayvan told Auntie that he was really happy that he's in a positive place with Crystal compared to like, you know, episode one. Oh, I love this series so much. Y'all, some major development. Crystal's parents invited her home. And they were like, hey, hon, can you come over? We miss you and stuff. And she gets to see her dog again. You know, play. Oh, my God. I know you miss Moose. Uh, and then there's her brother. I know her brother misses her so much, uh, Nathaniel. Anaya. So she's just going to go ahead and give him uh. a hug. Oh, he's so adorable. Wait, why he didn't want to play with her? <laughs> give him a treat i feel like she went and got him a treat and she's probably gonna give her brother a candy oh she's doing it herself oh my god autonomous i literally was saying it to y'all oh he's like you're the best big sister oh my heart oh my god she's like this bed is not as comfy as i remember i thought it was the most comfiest bed not my little apartment in evergreen harbor giving me a comfier bed and then she's like oh let's see my old pc oh my god she's like back, looking back at her old conversations you know before sims were judging her and saying some mean things to her just because you know she <laughs> is a teen mom you know oh there's her sibling oh Let's go meet her sibling. Her sibling is so cute, y'all. Oh, my heart. Uh, what was her name? Mar Marianne or something? Oh, Cuddle your sister. Oh, this is so sweet. She's like, hi, sister. I'm so sorry I'm late. You know, some Aww. family problems. You're born into a family that's just interesting. But it's okay. You have me. I'm yeah, sorry I'm know. late. Oh, oh. I want to tear up. Uh, She's just kind of like, oh, uh, my heart. Garnoosh. Moose, come on. Be nicer. I think Moose, Moose is kind of like, why you didn't take me with you? Like, I deserve to be in that apartment with you. I don't care how small it is. <laughs> but you know what? It is getting late. She has to go and, you know, get to the train back to home. And uh, y'all, it is Friday. So I'm going to see y'all on graduation day. So we're here at the graduation day. Things didn't go as planned, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Y'all know how it is with TS4 Chael. This is the valedictorian speech. He said, hey class, we made it. Ups and downs, the bumps in the road. We're here and now we're about to prepare for the future. Now I don't know if anybody's sitting down, but I pray they are. <laughs> He's like, look, y'all. We are going to be the best of the best. I could just tell we are a special bunch. No, is it going to say valedictorian over him? Oh, I'm so proud of him. Oh. We're going to have comedians, actors. We're going to have the best politicians. You know, there's going to be moments we fall and slip, but that doesn't mean that you are a failure. You made it here. You're going to make it other places in life. There's no hurdle in your way. Okay. Miss Prescott is over it. Like, look at her, y'all. <laughs> She's like, huh. oh, Lord, this class. I remember them. Molly's part of this line. Congratulations, Kevin. Oh, that's such an unprofessional outfit. But you know what? I ain't going to deal with her. Uh oh, it's David's time to grab his diploma. Go David, go David, go David, go David. Ah, that's so cute. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Go down the stairs. Oh, I hope it's Crystal's turn next. That'd be cute. They get called right after each other. Oh, Crystal's called up next. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Let me go take a photo. One second, y'all. Oh. 
<laughs> Good job. Uh, y'all, that's it. So let's oh, watch the oh, moment. Oh, All right, come on, come oh, on. Woo, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to take this photo of Zabin because it's an iconic shot for him. Okay, there you go. Y'all can see it now. Ah, Ooh, history. Alright y'all, here is the final dinner and everybody is dressed up. I'm ah, about to make that so orders. So. Um, the both parents are here, <laughs> you know. Dag. Right? So this is Crystal's parents. And you know, Shakira's saying hi to her, uh, um, the parents. Like, oh, it's finally nice to meet y'all. You guys are so beautiful. Bro. And oh, we are, huh? oh <laughs> just his no dream. Right. Like if he ever That's was with dag, someone, dag. he would love that his family, you know, would be for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pre order their dinner. So I got everybody a whiskey sour and a chicken plate dinner. I felt like they probably called the restaurant in advance. Like, can you guys please make this really good? And the kids are going to order their little juices. And the parents are like, y'all are grown. You can go ahead and order what you feel like you really want to order. They're like, well, we want to get that whiskey sour with y'all. So that's how it happened. And oh my God, they're actually big like what i just uh, they're big kids now like oh uh, young adults oh my god i don't know if you noticed i had the twin boys match i think oh. i always low-key wanted that but i always thought they were probably gonna graduate together and that wasn't the uh -huh. case Ooh. i love you i can't wait to have for that moment oh wow so oh, uh, they were both talking about woohoo uh -huh. and they're like yeah we, woo -hoo, and we go we home you, so cute oh crystal's making door. the order for everybody Table. love that Bench foods here here, like I told y'all, everybody got the same thing. Uh, it's a diner, but like they opened a table they had in the back for them because they said they were a party of seven. So yeah, they're all about to start eating. Oh, I'm so happy for them. Oh my god. Love this for y'all. Oh, they're enjoying themselves, y'all. I chose a nostalgic diner for, you know, a place to say goodbye because it's their last thing ever in Copperdale. You know, Melo's already moved away, but Zayvon now has to move away with his mom. And yeah, it's mom's last day here because she's also graduating tomorrow. Not Zayvon saying this is a robe for the house now. Yep, this is home clothes. I'm never wearing this again. Sir, they're misbehaving. Oh my God. <laughs> But I'm going to have to say goodbye to his room. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to go back to Willow Creek. And I kind of am looking forward to fixing his room and his college dorm. I'm definitely not going to have Melo's room in the house anymore though. So I'm going to make his room to like a playroom for their sisters. Melo can use the guest room, which is weird to say that out loud. But yeah. Oh my god, those pictures and BTS stuff for the boys. Oh, and the selfie from when they were celebrating Winterfest. Oh. I'm going to tear up. Oh, that's my baby Indigo. Bye, Indigo. I mean, you're, you know, say goodbye to Copperdale. <laughs> oh, bye, Copperdale. That view, that is a view, all right. I know Shakira and Rob definitely missed each other. And he's like, oh my God, we're moving back home for real. Congratulations, Shakira. I am so proud of you. Oh my god, girl. And she is a Foxbury graduate. She is now going to be working in the food critic career. And now she's going to be able to go to the part of the career. For some reason, she couldn't go to level 7, I believe. And that's, I think, where college or university starts you. So I felt like it was a sign for her to go for it, you know? And she's the first from the Adams Garcia bloodline outside of Rima to do it. But yeah, congratulations. I'm so proud of you, Shakira. And now I'm reflecting on how much has changed this series. My God, a lot has changed. Like there's a new family member, Crystal and Rock. Oh my God. The Rogers family is expanding and I'm so proud. Yeah, there was a lot of changing changes this high school year but sometimes things never change like what is going on between these two like why are y'all doing this what's the tea can y'all share with me oh it's like that 
I guess we're gonna have to talk about it the summer update and I have that safe file to talk about what like lots I want to work with and the makeover for the boys I'm not gonna lie I did do the makeovers like visually because I was kind of panicky and shout out to my friend Cimarella who helped me out talked it through with me I was really going through it and I cannot believe the series is over thank you so much for watching I really I really really adore your support and I do have an update for y'all channel is now monetized so yeah y'all that is a journey i feel like when i first started the series i wasn't like there and now i am and ads may start playing on my videos so yeah y'all i thank you so much if you've been here from the beginning and you've seen it and now i'm like here that's kind of crazy i don't even know what to say so for the last time let's look at the high school years theme song and say goodbye to the entire cast Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wait No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet I'm not, I'm not gonna wake up